Hello and welcome to the source swap instructions for the ISQ7000 and TSQ9000. In this video, you'll be instructed on how to change your system back and forth between the EI and AEI source configurations. Please refer to the user guide and hardware manual for more information and help. In this portion of the video, we'll be converting the system from EI to AEI source configuration. To begin, remove the EI source using the instructions located in the hardware manual and store the source in the source kit box. Place the EI source into the designated location in the source box. Shut the system down and turn the power off following the instructions in the user guide. Open the front cover to access the manifold. Behind the manifold cover, locate and open the manual vent to relieve the pressure of the vacuum. Remove the retaining screws securing the top to the mass spectrometer. Slide the top cover back and remove. Remove the four screws which secure the manifold door to the mass spectrometer. The fourth screw is not entirely visible when viewed from the front. To open the manifold door, first pull straight away and swing open to the left. Remove the glass top to allow greater access to the top side of the source assembly. Do not pry with sharp tools as this could risk damaging the seal to the chamber. Next, locate and remove the filament bracket. With the filament bracket removed, now you can remove the filament from the source interface board. Place the filament in the designated location in the source box. You may now replace the filament bracket for safekeeping. Remove the yoke from the manifold door by unscrewing the sockets with an L-shaped tool. These sockets will be used to secure the AEI magnet assembly. Do not remove the magnets from the yoke. Note, these are strong magnets that should be handled with care. They should be kept at least 6 inches or 15 centimeters away from sensitive electronics and medical devices. Place the yoke into the designated location in the source box. Remove the collar. Place into the source box. Install the AEI source magnet assembly with the spring tabs bent out facing the source onto the inside of the front door of the manifold. Tighten the sockets from the side with an L-shaped tool. Caution. These are strong magnets. Keep at least six inches or 15 centimeters away from sensitive electronics and medical devices. Make sure the sockets are snug, but be careful not to over tighten. Carefully insert the AEI source so that the filament connections are oriented towards the left and the cutouts fit around the thumb screws. Replace the manifold door in the opposite way in which it was removed. Swing the door in and push the door straight in. When pushing the manifold door back onto the assembly face, ensure that the alignment posts are aligned properly. Never force the manifold door or any part of it to fit. Replace the four screws which secure the manifold door to the mass spectrometer. Behind the manifold cover, locate and close the manual vent. Replace the glass top to the assembly. Take great care to ensure that the glass cover is seated evenly. This will ensure that the instrument will be able to achieve and hold vacuum. Note, while the pump is achieving vacuum, you may have to place pressure on this piece of glass. Locate the power switch and restore power to the system. 
access the instrument configuration for the instrument software and select the mass spectrometer from the list of configured instruments. Check the box for AEI source configured and save the changes. The system is now configured with the AEI source and can be tuned after equilibrating at the desired tune temperature for at least one hour. In this portion of the video, we'll be converting the system from AEI to EI source configuration. To begin, shut the system down, open the front cover to access the manifold, open the manual vent to relieve the pressure of the vacuum, and use the previous instructions to remove the top cover and manifold door screws. Open the manifold as previously described to allow access to the front of the assembly with the AEI source currently installed. Remove the post holding the AEI source magnet in place. Take special caution when handling this magnet. These are strong magnets. Keep at least six inches or 15 centimeters away from sensitive electronics and medical devices. Place the magnet and shield in the designated location in the source box. Insert the collar. Next, replace the yoke. Pay attention to the orientation landmark. The small hole goes on the top. Replace the retaining screws and tighten using an L-shaped tool. Do not remove the magnets from the yoke. Be mindful to keep them oriented and aligned properly. Pay special attention to the polarity noted on the magnet. These are strong magnets that should be handled with care. They should be kept at least 6 inches or 15 centimeters away from sensitive electronics and medical devices. Remove the filament connection to the source interface board. Carefully remove the AEI source by pulling the source straight out. Place the AEI source in the designated location in the source box. Put the EI source onto the source installation tool as you normally would by pushing down and turning counterclockwise. Very carefully insert the EI source. There should not be a great deal of resistance. If there is resistance, stop and remove the source and check for obstruction. Turn the installation tool clockwise to seat the source cartridge and release it from the installation tool. Remove the glass top to allow greater access to the top side of the source assembly. Do not pry with sharp tools as this could risk damaging the seal to the chamber. Locate the filament bracket and remove it. Place the filament and then replace the filament bracket. Connect the filament to the source interface board on the left. The filament connection is spaced in such a way that it may not be installed incorrectly. Never force any piece to fit during installation. Replace the manifold door in the opposite way in which it was removed. Replace the four screws which secure the manifold door to the mass spectrometer. Be sure that the magnet of the yoke is positioned directly above the filament. Replace the glass top to the assembly. Take great care to ensure that the glass cover is seated evenly. This will ensure that the instrument will be able to achieve and hold vacuum. Note, while the pump is achieving vacuum, you may have to place pressure on this piece of glass. Behind the manifold cover, locate and close the manual vent. Turn the power back on. Uncheck the box for AEI source configured and save the changes. The system is now configured with the EI source and can be tuned after equilibrating at the desired tune temperature for at least one hour. Thank you for watching this video. You should now be able to remove the EI source cartridge and install an AEI source cartridge. 
you should also be able to remove an AEI source cartridge and install an EI source cartridge.